Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel where we are teaching mathematics. I hope in those people that are writing their GC exam and they have no time to go to class, they have no money to pay. I think our commitment is to make sure that such people are helped by our presentation. Okay? So we need to make sure that we subscribe to the channel. So today we are looking at the yet another interesting part of matrices. Okay? Which comes from the multiplication of matrices okay so what is supposed to be done in this case as you can see by the heading we're looking at, we want to find the missing element in one of the two matrices that are given okay like in this case we have this matrix and this one the two are multiplied to get this one but then you realize that having been given the product one of the elements in the matrices is missing so what process are we supposed to carry out in order to get the actual value of the missing product? And that is what we want to establish in this short lesson. So please pay particular attention and make sure that you, you follow the presentation. So what we are supposed to do here, we are talking about when their product is given. It's about multiplication. So meaning we need to multiply these two matrices. We need to multiply these two matrices and then equate to the respective product. Okay, so like in this case, given the first one, we need to multiply these two matrices. And how do we multiply the two matrices? We have always uh, advised that to multiply the matrices, we need to refer to this number seven, meaning you multiply the row by a column. You multiply a row by a column. So that is what we are supposed to do here. You multiply this row by each column. And the number of, uh, as you've seen here, in this row, the number of elements we have two and even down here because each one of them should multiply so this one is going to be multiplied by this one this one should multiply by two all right so we need to multiply these two rows i mean these two matrices and equate them to 10. so how do we do the multiplication we multiply a row by a column then we replace to 10. so let's do that this gives us four x i mean x multiplied by negative four what do we get we get negative 4x plus 3 multiplied by 2, we get 6. And then this is supposed to be equated to 10. So once we have reached this point, we have to solve this now as a linear equation. We have to solve this as a linear equation. All right? Matrices helped us to form the equation. Now, when we get to this point, we solve it as an equation. And how do we do that? We need to make sure that we put the like things together. Um, in other words, we are saying we are additing, I mean, we are adding the additive inverse of boom, positive 6 on both sides. And that is going to give us 10, and this one will become a minus 6. Alright? So we go on to solve this one. This is going to give us negative 4x is equals to 4 here. Alright? So after we have done this, then we need to find the actual value of whom? x. What are we supposed to do? We ought to divide both sides by negative 4. So we're going to divide here by negative 4. And even this side we divide by negative 4. So this it will simplify and then we're going to remain with the x negative 4 divided by negative 4 it gives us 1 so we are going to have something like 1x which is the same as x then we come to this side a positive number divided by a negative number or vice versa we always get a negative so we have negative 1 negative 1 is our answer here so all that you need to do just to prove that the value of x that we got is correct. You can replace the negative x here and see if you are going to get, I mean, at this point, to see if you are going to get 10. So if you put negative x here, 4 multiplied by negative x, this gives us positive 4. And positive 4 added to 6. We're going to get uh, 10. So that stands to tell us that our answer is correct. Alright? That stands to tell us that our answer is 
correct. Okay, so we have the second question. Let's look at the second question. Um, so the second question, let's look at the second question. We do the same thing. All right. So we have this, these two matrices were multiplied to give us this matrix. The two matrices here were multiplied to give us this matrix. So what are we supposed to do here? So when you look at 16, where did it come from? Uh, the first row was multiplied by this column to get 16. So if you want, you can try it out to see if when you multiply this row by this column, you are going to get 16. All right, maybe we can try that out. Uh, four multiplied by four multiplied by five. What do we get? We get twenty. We get twenty. Then two multiplied by negative two, we get minus four. So when we work out this one, we're going to get sixteen. So that is where sixteen came from. We multiply the first row by this column to get 16. So now we go to the row that has an x which we are looking for. So this row is going to be multiplied by this column. Then we equate it to 3 in order to get the, uh, the value of x. So let's try to work that one out. This is the equation that we are going to work with. So we say 1 multiplied by 5, what we get? 1 multiplied by 5, 1 multiplied by 5, okay, then we plus x multiplied by negative 2. This gives us minus 2x. So this ought to be equated to 3. So we do the equation here. Then we simplify this one. This gives us 5 minus 2 x this is equals to three so we get to solve this one as a linear equation where we put the like term together or say we add both sides the additive inverse of five which is the minus five all right then from this point we write we take it down two x this is equal to uh, negative 2. Then to get the, value, the actual value of x, we ought to divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is uh, negative 2. So when we do that, what do we get? We're going to get x is equal to 1. Negative divided by negative will get a positive 1. So you can as well try to put this one in the equation here to see if what you are going to get is uh, correct. Our x is 1, so we can put this one here. 5 minus 2 multiplied by 1, it will still be 2. When we work it out, it will give us uh, 5. It will give us 3. So this is how we work out the... This is how we find the value of boom. A missing element in a matrix in one of the matrices when the product is given okay so I have decided to also give you the three questions under the exercise for your practice all right thank you very much for listening and watching this presentation to make sure you practice these questions and subscribe to the channel if there are any issues there could be teachers also that are following these things and they think they can present them better Please, you can give us a comment to see how we can improve. Thank you very much for watching.